Hi, this is Patrick Harvey, and I just wanted to show you how you could use the Flex MLS search system to look for properties. This is uh, pretty much exactly what I use when I am uh, searching for properties. There are not quite as many options as we get as Realtors. If I gave you the full search capability, your brain would probably explode. So uh, let me just show you what you can do and how you can look for things. Right now, the default search is set up to look uh, right here in the city of Scottsdale and I'm looking for lots that are at least 10,000 square feet up to almost a couple acres. Two car garage between 250 and 350,000. Single family detached dwelling. You could also search for condos or uh, you know different sorts of property there. I'll show you all that in a moment. Three bedrooms at least, two baths at least, and at least 1,500 square feet. You can also put some other things in like whether the house is one or two story with the sun checked, it doesn't care. You can put in criteria for when it was built, the subdivision it's in, when it went off the market. I, you know, that's just uh, was in there and I left it. Uh, whether or not it has a pool and whether the status is active or if you want to look for stuff that's already been sold. And anyway, let's uh, just take a quick look and see what the results look like and then we'll uh, tailor a little different search. I'm going to click here for view results and you'll see uh, all kinds of homes that are showing up. Here's a brand new listing here and uh, here's one where the price has just been reduced but let's uh, just take a look here for 185254 that's this property here on 57th Street uh, what kind of information can we see well see you're going to have to register a little bit uh, just so I know who you are because I have to pay for this service nothing's free in life this won't cost you anything but I would like to know who you are so uh, I'll just put in my name here only spell and you know it's going to populate the rest of the stuff it's not required but you can if you want so now I'm going to sign up and uh, ah well now my email is going to send me a password I'll have to go and check and see what that is if it ever shows up uh, it should just be one more. all right uh, my username is uh, the email address and it has emailed me a password it will email you a password and I don't need to remember this one right now. Let's try that again. No, don't remember it. Oh, there we go. Now we're logged in. I'm so excited to uh, know that I've successfully logged in. All right, uh, let's take a look at some detail here. So here's this property, and now we can see some detail. Here's a photo. It's 2243 square feet. Uh, all sorts of worthwhile information for you here. Let me just shrink this up a little bit so you can see all of it. There we go. And uh, this one happens to be a short sale. It says short sale approval required right down here. Let's look at some other pictures. That would be fun. So we click on photos here. One photo. How about the next one? Maybe it has more photos than just one. Ah, oh, here's a nice house. It has several photos. Nice pool in the back. Nice looking inside of the house. This is a good listing. Wow. Very pretty. Very nicely done. All right. You can also uh, look at the map and see where all these properties are. This pops up a quick map and it should show me the little star is where we're looking right now. And uh, these other properties are all the other ones in Scottsdale. Now one of the things you can do, there's a map search capability so I can say well I'm gonna just draw a box here because I don't really care about these outlying properties so I want to see just the ones like uh, you know here in the main part of Scottsdale. And now where I had more results than I did now I'm down to 42 results and let's see what they look like. And it's kind of the same story. Here's one on 54th and Sweetwater. Quit that. Uh, let's see what it looks like real quick. Oh, that looks like a... Oh, they start with a pool. What does that mean? I always wonder about people who don't start with the front of the house when they list their property. Nice backyard. Nice pool. That's very pretty. This is a $269,000 house at uh, 54th and Sweetwater in the Magic 85254 zip code. Uh, very nice looking house.
And there's a picture of the front. So it's a little dated, but still very nicely done, very pretty home. And uh, so that's uh, sort of what we can expect to see when you look at the detailed information. Let's go back here and edit the search a little bit. Maybe, uh, maybe I want to look for smaller houses. So I'm going to click this and see how I have a bunch of different property sizes selected in here. I'm going to go down to the smallest property size, 1 to 7,500. And uh, I'm going to leave my shape, this rectangle, which is my map area. You can see it flashing there. I'll leave that alone, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, the list price I'm going to change. I'm going to make the bottom zero. And I'll make the top maybe uh, 250000 And then uh, what I could put in dwelling, I could look at patio homes, townhouses, things like that. Let's look for townhouses. And... Uh, what else? Still, let's look for, you know, let's change this. So, oh, come on. I'm going to change this so it's a two bedroom, exactly two bedroom, and two or two and a half bath. Two and a half bath and a two story one is pretty nice sometimes. And I still want at least 1,500 square feet. That'll be nice. Um, so, uh, let's take a look and, ah, uh, two results. It's already telling me. So there are two in this price range, the one at 219 and one at 239. This one's on Redfield, this one's on Thompson Peak, and this is a brand new listing. Let's take a look at it. There it is. All right. Cache at McDowell Mountain Ranch. This is a very nice two bedroom with a den. Well, let's look at some photos and see how nice it looks inside. Not bad, not bad. Not enough pictures to get a great idea, but you can see what it is. Let's look at this other one. Oh, they start with a picture of the pool. That's very nice. And, uh, oh, granite countertops, nice stainless steel appliances, dark cherry cabinets, it looks like. Very nice. This one's really pretty. Ah, and they give you a floor plan. That's unusual, but very nice to have. This is probably a relatively new development. Uh, let's see when this was built here. 2006. Yeah, it's pretty new. So I just wanted to give you an idea of the kind of search information and search capabilities you have if you're using uh, this little uh, search system that I have set up for you. Like I said, uh, just for fun, I'll show you uh, if you really want to see the full-blown search. Uh, it's not a pretty site, but I'll show it to you just in case you might want to see it because I can set up a uh, search for you so you can see everything if you really want to. It'll just take a moment to get there. Okay, this is the full search capability here. Um, as you can see, city town code subdivision list price bedrooms, days on the market, how many levels, where the square feet came from, whether the builder told you or the owner told you or the assessor records have it, whether it has a guest house or not, uh, the model name. I mean, you can search on just about anything. You can search by the cross streets. Uh, if I go into association info, uh, you can search by the association and fees, whether there's a land lease fee, whether there's a rec center fee, uh, what the what the fees include, whether it includes air conditioning, cable, electric, front yard maintenance, backyard maintenance, pest control, gas, water, sewer, all, all sorts of stuff. Um, in terms of this tab, uh, there's probably a whole bunch more information. The county it's in, as if it's not in Maricopa County. Sometimes we list things in Pinal County, and uh, that's down by Queen Creek and those areas. And also there's some listings in Navajo County, which is up by uh, Payson and Overgard and uh, Sholo and areas like that. Um, you can search by high school and grade school districts. That's often uh, real important. People like to search by those criteria. If you want a search like this, let me know, and I'll set one up for you. It's no big deal. Um, there are a lot of interior options you can search for. Uh, with what the dining area looks like, what the kitchen looks like, whether it's got a bathtub in the master or a bidet, or whether it's got a tub with jets or double sinks, um, whether the laundry's in the garage, or if there's a dryer included or washer included, or if they're stacked, if it's inside or community. I mean, you can search literally for any possible field you can imagine. So usually I don't uh, let people have all this capability because like I said your brain will probably explode I know mine did the first time I saw it probably explains a lot but um, 
If you want a more detailed search or you're looking for something very specific, let me know. I'll help you out. It's no problem. But uh, for now, just uh, enjoy the search I have set up for you. And uh, it's uh, very customizable, and I think you'll be able to find properties pretty easily. If you need any extra help, be sure and let me know. This is Patrick Harvey from Scottsdale, Arizona. Thanks a lot.